Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and uh, welcome to the 14th and probably final episode of Let's Play Jurassic Park the Game. It's, uh, it's been a bit of a road since you guys voted for this, but uh, we're closing in on the end now, after last time where we got betrayed by two different characters, one of which who died immediately afterwards, and the other one who betrayed us for not really a great reason. Billy basically decided that he was going to leave the Hardings behind because... Um... You know, because they were a pain in the ass, I guess. I guess the real reason is because they knew about the canister deal with Nima. So he decided that was the best way to avoid InGen finding out. But uh, yeah, he betrayed us, didn't actually have the canister because Jess is a little kleptomaniac. And uh, then we swam through Mosasaur Lagoon and came out on the other side. Because helpfully, Nima knew her way through these underwater caves. And all we really need to do now is get to the boat and leave the island. Which I'm sure it'll be a cakewalk. Look! By the lighthouse! Yes, that must be it. So are they just wearing their clothes Wait. underneath the diving suit? I don't see suit? anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh. Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. Was he just Pretend. waiting for them to show up? I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But, lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you, did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not going to tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. All that's left is a climactic confrontation with the antagonist. Ah! Nice one. Almost hurt. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. Just want you to know that I had it. And share this payout just like we planned. There is no more plan. We're leaving without you. Oh, you're pretty good. Come on, Nima. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? It's not about the money anymore. I'm not gonna let you hurt these people. No more talk! Shut up and fight! So we got Billy who became an antagonist and Nima who stopped being an antagonist. Alright! Playtime's over. I guess she's gotta beat him up for redemption. Whatever happened to her machete? I guess she must have dropped it at some point. Probably when running through the jungle. <laughs> I think they got the fences back on. Uh, even with pressing the same key twice, that was hard. There's a lot of mashing. There's no way those MPOs are still viable. Oh, there we go. Is that the little thing we're fighting over? 
Oh, huh? What? That? What's that? I can have it? Why so generous all of a sudden? Mm. I'm pretty sure that's yet hero? another unwinnable yes. one of those little concentration things. You want to break our deal? Do you feel that? Oh my God! Stop! You want to make new friends? Yoder! And Nima, I don't like it. <laughs> Rexy really doesn't have much else going on on this island, so she just shows up whenever she hears anything going on. Really, the only dinosaur that doesn't just disappear after their act. choice right here in the game that affects our ending. Do we save Jess or take the canister? Of course, we'll see both endings. But we'll go with the Jess one first. Once again, Jerry finds something to hit a dinosaur with. I feel like that's his real special ability in this game. Oh no, what are we gonna do? wait for the game to give us an option. I mean, this part with the T-Rex isn't really the worst. It's actually not a bad way to have this last scene go. I mean, it's kind of weird with all the shipping containers and stuff. Oh no. We got pretty much the longest death scene in the game, at about five seconds there. But there was a checkpoint right before that. start the boat already.
Once again, Rexy is defeated by her complete lack of depth perception. At least she got to eat one person in the entire game. And a couple of raptors. And maybe a tri maybe a triceratops. We made it. Believe me, the whole world is better off without that can. Guys? Not me, Joey. Not my daughter. Guys? Nima, I made a promise. I'll figure something out. Come back to Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita. Guys! How much did you say those embryos were worth? Oh, hey, look, we can get all of the dirty money without having to actually screw over InGen. And all's well that ends well. Until Jerry's other daughter ended up on Illasorna. With a certain mathematician slash chaotician. And that's pretty much it. That's the end of Jurassic Park the game. Which, I think even with <laughs> the existence of uh, Jurassic World, this probably could still be canon and it wouldn't make any difference at all. Because really nothing happened in this that changes anything. You know, they introduced more characters, killed most of them off, and the other ones were not important enough that they would affect the future events of the series anyway. Which, I don't know, I guess maybe that's the best way to go about adding in stuff to an existing series like this. I mean, that's pretty much what Telltale does now. People just throw, you know, a universe at them and they make their own little not completely obtrusive addition to it. I mean, I guess from Tales from the Borderlands, you could say it kind of adds more to it because it takes place after everything else that's happened in Borderlands, I think. Pretty sure it takes place after pre-sequel and all that. But anyhow, uh, yeah, let's Jurassic Park the game. It's not great. Uh, even for a Telltale game, there's a real lack of interaction. You know, it's even more dependent on QTEs than, you know, later stuff like The Walking Dead and, you know, Game of Thrones and The Wolf Among Us. I mean, that stuff still has... It has a lot of the same format. This is really the first one of those games, you know, where you... I guess with things that are known as Telltale games now, that sort of Telltale format, because obviously Telltale made games before they started doing other properties, you know, when they had Sam and Max and stuff like that. But this was really the first one where they sort of built the format that they would use for all the later stuff. Well, this and Back to the Future. I think these were because they were part of the same deal with Universal, so they were kind of at the same time. But yeah. This was the first one that introduced character deaths, which of course have become a big thing. People made a big deal out of that in Walking Dead. Though, of course, as we saw with the couple times where we died, it wasn't really, uh... It was like a minor thing. You know, you get little three seconds of a character probably dying, but not actually dying on camera. Because Jurassic Park is a family-friendly series, of course. We can't have any actual violence visible on screen for very long. So yeah, I don't think this is a very great game. I don't think it's even one of the better Telltale games, which, you know, obviously people are very divisive about that whole Telltale format. Since even the later ones, there really isn't that much gameplay that isn't just QTEs and clicking on things. Also, I'm pretty sure that this uh, Jurassic Park theme is going to, of course, get this video blocked, which uh, we'll see. It is a violation of federal copyright law to synchronize this video game with videotape or film. What? I'm trying to think, like, what even would that mean? Am I allowed, is that supposed to be, you're not allowed to record it, or don't put the movie footage over it? No, I don't know. American copyright law is weird. But of course, everyone has to deal with it because of YouTube being American. Yeah, that's really all I had to say, I guess. I mean, we'll see the other ending after the end of the credits here, but, uh... I'm surprised people voted on this. Of course, I went with the obscure, I'm just gonna describe a game so that people don't vote based on games they're already familiar with. But, uh, I don't know. 
I guess everyone probably thought this was Dino Crisis, maybe. Even though I think Dino Crisis 2 was also in there. And uh, now I get to play through all of Episode 4 again just to get the other ending because you can't just use scenarios to get the ending because it won't play. So, uh, see you on the flip side. And now we see what happens when Nima decides the can is more important than just life. Sorry, kid, you're on your own. I don't know why she just stopped here, though, after picking up, like, oh, everything's gonna be fine now. Aside from Jess climbing up, everything else is pretty much the same. This choice also pretty much goes against all that bonding they supposedly had throughout the game. But of course, your choices don't matter in this game like they would slightly in a different Telltale hey, game. Only that one choice at the end to make. make. See? We she had to pick what ending to right get. Thing, honey. <laughs> yeah, I guess. What now, Dad? I guess you're kind of out of a job. That's alright. I quit. No more dinosaurs for me. I'll try to get my old job back at the Dallas Zoo. Elephants are a little more my speed anyway. Coming back to Dallas? Why not? Think it's a good idea? If you're serious. All right then. Dallas it is. So in this ending, but you get first, a family trying to put themselves back together. There's a little girl in Costa Rica. And I guess adopt Nima's kid. I don't know how they're going to find her. It's not like she told her where they lived or anything. Well, he has a name to go on and how many Marikitas... Is it Marikita or is it Atlanta? Or is Marikita just a fond term for your daughter? Anyhow, that's the other ending. I, I guess that's the bad ending. I don't know, they both have positive benefits for the characters, I guess. But yeah, so that's really all they did for, you know, the endings. So they definitely didn't go with the later Telltale thing of so-and-so will remember that. Which is something I don't think came up until Walking Dead. I don't think uh, Back to the Future had that either. But uh, yeah, that's Jurassic Park the game. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty glad to be done with it. And never really have a reason to play it again. Because it's been checked off my Jurassic Park game list. There's still a few other games on there that I'll probably get around to eventually. Probably not immediately after this. Well, maybe we'll take a look at a couple of ones that I've never played. Including a Jurassic Park RTS. But uh, yeah. Stress part the game by Telltale, and uh, we're done with it. And hopefully, if I do another vote, people will probably pick something better. Though, if I do another vote, it'll probably still have vague descriptions of the game, since I don't want people to rely on their immediate bias familiarity with a game, I guess. Just picking games by name recognition, rather than concepts. Anyhow, I'm Jadefire, Stress part the game, and, uh... I'll see you folks all again with some other game. I went from having no idea what the next LP was going to be to having a few too many ideas. So we'll see how those pan out, and who knows.
all folks take care